Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Behind me it's my new old car, Tesla Model S Long Range Plus from 2020. And in this video I want to show you what you can do in Europe when the car have full self-driving and it's not the latest as model, the latest is hardware 4, this is the hardware 3 and it's a little bit slightly different at least when it's parking and also when it's summoning or when you use the app because the newest is model, the new Model S, the new Model Y, Model 3, the new one uh, work a little bit faster and it has slightly you know better connection to the car and I still want to show you because I know there are many people that want to buy second-hand Tesla in the future and also from the past and I want to show you how it works so you know what to expect from it. Now in order to use this summon function an actual summon is not available in Europe due to the regulation. EU regulation doesn't allow Tesla to move the car for longer distance without someone inside so that uh, that's called full self-driving supervise in Europe because you have to have your hands on the steering wheel and then you have to touch it, you have to be there. In United States, as you probably know, in some states, they already drive the car itself, so the car is capable to drive itself. Uh, but in Europe, due to the regulation, it's not working. And also you will see that the only place where you can move the car without you being inside the car, it's in a parking lot. And uh, that's only with the app and only for six meters. You cannot move it more than six meters. That's something to keep in mind. We wait for the approval of the regulation so we can see in Europe something like that. So I hope will come soon as well. Now, all you have to do is just go in the app. The car have to be connected to the internet. Uh, your app have to be, of course, your phone have to be connected to the internet. And then if you have full self-driving, then you go in the app and you will see that you have this summon function right here. And immediately when you open it, you will see, warning, this vehicle do not currently support actual smart summon. Please use additional caution. And then you see the map right here, right? So we are in a, parking lot you can see here exactly the parking uh, area of the shop so this is the only way the only place where you can basically move the car in United States you can go to the target point right so you can move the target point wherever you want and then you ask for the car to come to you right but here in Europe the only place where you can move it it's close to you so you have to zoom in even more zoom in zoom in and then you ask the car to come to you. For example, let's say right here, right? And then the car, it's kind of uh, printing this uh, road and then it's supposed to come to you. This is the target one. Then if you press the person, then that's supposed to be you. And if you put the person, that means uh, I ask, come to me. You just press this button and then the car will come to you and we will try to do that. But keep in mind, in Europe, it's only six meter. That's the problem. And of course here you can press this, you can see it like that, or you can see it like a satellite. And down here on the lower end, you have three buttons. One, come to me, or move to target. If you put the target, go to target. Or forward, backward. Simple forward, backward. It's working simply as all other cars. You probably saw it also on Hyundai. You can move it forward, move it backward from the application, from the key. If it can go inside the car, you can move it a little bit forward. Keep in mind, you have to have internet for both of those. Let's start this one with the target. And let's say I want to move the car right here, right? So a little bit forward. Let's move it around here, just like that. And then all you have to do is just press go to target. Now, press and hold. It says preparing. I don't know if you can see it right now, the car. Wait a few seconds. The car is preparing. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see what happens, someone fail, move key fob closer. Now another problem in Europe is the fact that you have to have the key fob closer. The newest is models which use the Bluetooth, you don't need to have this key. If you have your phone through Bluetooth, it has Bluetooth connectivity, so it's work much better. That's why I said the newest model work better, but because this one have a fob key, I have to be closer to the car. So I move closer to the car right here and I press this go to go to place the car it's starting right now so you can go let's say go on the other side better i think you can see a little bit better you just press this button wait and it's a wait for the path so the car it's searching for the path wait for the path to clear 
wait for the pad to clear. I have to go on the side probably to see the pad. And then I go on the side, close to the car. It says here, wait for the pad to clear. So it's still waiting. Probably the car feel like it's something in the pad. Let's try again. I release it. Let's put again the target. I will put the target in the, in the basically same place. Just like that, okay. Put it in the same place, wait a few seconds. So the car is basically re remapping this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So let's go out of the app. So I go out of the app and I wanna go inside back. So let's try again. Okay, so let me put again the target just here. I don't know why the car is finding a different strange path. So we want to go there and then on the side. But yeah, anyway, let's go to target, press it. The car is preparing. And then someone fail. System wake timeout. Okay, let's try again. So yeah, the thing is that it's not working properly all the time. I'm not sure if this is for the, because of the car, it's a little bit older or Probably this is because it's not properly work, but look at this. Now the car is moving. The only thing that's uh, the problem is that you have to be close to it. You have to be close to the car, otherwise it won't work. So you have to be side by side to the car. And if you look inside, you will see the steering wheel moving. You will see the screen. It's uh, on right now. So you can come here to see it. And this one, I have to hold it all the time in order to work, release to stop, it says. But if you go side by side of the car, it, it's definitely working. And the thing is that we are close to target, someone complete. So you see, you can move it to target. The problem is, it's if you move it a little bit farther away, the thing is that the car, it's basically stop at some point. Uh, let's go here, let's move, come to me. So I put it come to me. And then what I do is that, is that, where is the key fob? I will leave the key fob actually on the car, on the upper side of the car. And then I will go a little bit forward. So let's see if it will come to me, right? So I press come to me, it says preparing. And then let's see if that's work. The car is starting right now. It says waiting for, for Bluetooth cannot find the clear path to use, right? So the car doesn't have Bluetooth, that's the problem. But let's try it again. Press and hold. Now it sees me, I mean, on the, on the map here, it's very clear. The car can see me very clear. So you just wait, let's see if it's moving. Cannot find the clear path. That's, that's the error that I get on the phone. You can see when I try to prepare and when I try to, to move it to me, it says, can find a clear path. Come on, man. Let's go a little bit closer. I'm a little bit closer right now. Come to me, preparing. You can hear the brakes. You can hear the car is preparing. Waiting for Bluetooth. Yeah, I guess, I guess the newest model with Bluetooth, they will work better. I'm not sure about that. Let's, let's try if I go in the back. Let's see if I go in the back, what happened? If I said it's like, wait a second. If I go in the back and let's say I'm here, let's see what happened right now. Let's see what happened. Uh, move to target, definitely work. But this uh, come to me feature is stopping right now. I guess it needs a little bit of time to get stop. Come to me again, press it, let's see. Let's see what happened. I'm not sure, I'm definitely curious to test it on the... You see, it's searching for Bluetooth, it's not finding, it doesn't work. Let's see if I can move it backward from this arrow here. Let's wait for the stop, okay? And then let's play, let's press and move it backwards, just backward. Just go backward, come on, let's see. Release to stop, so the car should come to me right now. Doesn't wanna go, I'm not sure why, probably I'm too farther away. Let's go a little bit closer, preparing. Come on, let's release it, let's try again. I think I have to be close to the car, I'm, I'm thinking that. Let's, let's, let me stay here, close to the car. 
and let's press this back. This is the backward button and let's see what happened now. You see now it's working or yes. So I have to be close to the car, I guess. I guess this is due to the regulation in United in uh, Europe. So in the United States, it works also if you are farther away, but in Europe, it doesn't work. In Europe, you have to be close to the vehicle. Now, if the vehicle encounter an obstacle, you can go behind the car. You will see that the, the car will stop automatically. I don't have to press the brake, you see? Now it stops automatically. If you move, the car is moving. But yeah, go, go back and stay there. And you see that it's just, it's just completely stopped. And then I release it and it's stopped. This is also something that you can move it forward the same, same way from here. You can move it forward, but I guess uh, you have to be close to the car. So in Europe, the thing is that you have to definitely be uh, side by side to the car or something like that. So the car can see you and the, the car can feel the phone as well. Even though this one doesn't have phone connectivity, it's really strange because you don't have Bluetooth connectivity. Basically, you have Bluetooth connectivity with the car. I guess it's missing some sensors or I guess they don't open the Bluetooth connectivity for those older cars. I'm not sure what is the reason why. Maybe they don't want that. Uh, but it's clear that the, the car feel that I have the phone there because I run away. You see now, I'm not more closer to the car. It's still running right now. I didn't get an error for the moment. I still hold it. If I go in front of the car, it will definitely stop. Check this out. You see that? So the car is stopped and now it's stopped. Now let's try the last one. Let's try the target one. Let's go. Let's move the target a little bit farther away. Also in the parking lot, but all the way in the front. Let's say I want you, I want the car to park around here. And you see in Europe, you have this blue, blue round, right? So you can move the car only, only in this circle. That's the thing in Europe. So if you want to move it, you have to move it until here, only until here. Let's move the pad here. So let's say I want to park it there. So the car will go to the right. Press the target. The car is just probably starting, let's say, waiting for the path, cannot find the clear path. Not sure why, maybe because we are in front of the car. Go to target, press again, go side by side, it says preparing. Someone complete, strange. Yeah, the target was too close to me. Let's go here. Come on, now, here we go. Clear path, you have clear path. Come on, go, go, go. Preparing, and now the car is moving. And the car is... Wait for the path to clear. Wait for the phone to enter Bluetooth range. You see that? It has a Bluetooth. That's, that's the catchy thing, man. I don't understand it. The, it says that the phone is not in the Bluetooth range. So it's kind of strange because this car doesn't have Bluetooth, but it has, so it sees me, sees the phone, doesn't want to unlock the car. Wait for the pad to clear, so it says that's something in front. Not sure why, release to stop, and the car is basically move, cannot exceed the maximum distance. And now it's just basically stop. Right now I get this error as well, so from now on, doesn't want to move at all. It says cannot exceed maximum distance. So I guess every, every circle you turn on and turn off the car, it kind of lock you for certain meters. I'm not sure how many meters, but after some point, the car doesn't want to move anymore. And I'm, I'm not understanding why it's doing this kind of thing, because even if I want to go backward right now, it's not working anymore. Not sure if this is due to the older versions or this is due to the newer version. Let's try to go back. Yeah, back and forward, it's still working, but it doesn't want to move to a other destination, you know? So it's really, really strange. But yeah, it's from my point of view, it's kind of unusable, if that makes sense, in Europe for the moment. So it's fine because you can move the car forward, backward out of the parking lot, but it's not so fine if you want to move it to a certain destination. So if you want the car to come to you at certain distance, it doesn't want to work. So. I'm not sure why 
but it is what it is. I want to try also the new SS model to see if that will work the same, but the good part is at least you can take it out from the parking lot. So if you can open the door, if someone park close to you, you can basically open it. So yeah, this is how it looks. And this is also only in a parking lot you can do that. Other than that, you cannot use this someone. I want to show you something else inside the car. Some settings here, which you have to do, for example. So you have to pretty much go here to the um, sa safety or not here to the autopilot. And then you go to the summon. And here you have some settings. You have to turn on the summon in order to work then you have to have this standby mode on and you have to basically go to customize someone and here on the customize someone i really recommend you to have it on standard not on tight tight mean if you if you want the car to work in tight places so yeah you can put it on tight that mean it goes through the obstacles a little bit tighter um, yeah auto link doesn't matter and also the distance you see here you're limited somehow to 12 meter distance forward or backward and also here bumper clearance i recommend you to leave it a little bit bigger so if you want to park closer or if you want to park farther away you can bas basically play also with those kind of distances between the bumper and the obstacle so i would say 15 centimeters are more than enough so yeah I guess this is the summon on the, where is it here, on the full self-driving computer free Tesla Model S from 2020. So I guess you get some useful information from here. I hope you get some useful information from here. If you have question, ask me down below, whatever question you have. If you have tips or you know something that I don't know, write me down below. The thing is that you cannot unlock the car with your phone, only with Bluetooth. It works with internet, but not with Bluetooth. But strangely enough is the fact that the car search for the Bluetooth for your phone in order to be close to it to work. So yeah, it's somehow a little bit strange, but yeah, I guess it is what it is. By the way, the autopilot function, the full self-driving on the highway, work really good. And I will test it in a separate video if you want to see that. Stay close. But the summon function, uh, it's useful forward, backward, but the target thing in Europe, at least for the moment, hmm, not so good. Probably in the future, we wait to see what kind of updates, upgrades will come with. That was the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you want to buy a Tesla, you can use my referral link. I will leave it in the description, also on the screen. If you have question, ask me whatever question you have. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and we see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.